I'm Ian Campbell in Calgary, where police are still recovering from a very busy Saturday. In less than 12 hours, officers were called to three violent carjackings in separate quadrants of the city. Most, if not all, believed to be the work of irrational drug-fueled offenders looking for their next big score. The first happened in around 5 a.m. in which a police car was rammed. They followed the stolen Toyota Tacoma to a local college, and after a brief tense standoff, two men were arrested. Then around noon, police were called to a second scene over reports of an erratic man. He approached a vehicle at a red light, physically attacked the woman inside, and ordered her to drive. He tried to fight off first responders and was sedated. A short time later, on the opposite end of the city, an elderly couple was attacked in this parking lot after a man tried to grab the keys to their SUV from a belt loop. The male victim was attacked. The suspect got into the truck and in his attempt to escape ran over the woman. He was tracked by police helicopter and arrested outside of the city. Police admit three in one day is unusual. Duty Staff Sergeant Rob Anderson says drugs like methamphetamine would explain the erratic behavior in these cases. It's quite an anomaly, quite a remarkable day to, to see three events like that happen. Yeah. Anderson says the violence has them concerned. He says if you should find yourself in a similar position as these victims, don't fight, give up your vehicle. In our experience, uh, those people tend to be goal-oriented, and by that I mean they're looking at the vehicle as a means of transportation. So they're looking to steal the vehicle, they're not necessarily looking to harm the occupants. So I would suggest complying with whatever demands uh, these people may have. And at your first opportunity, exit the vehicle, get away from it. Some, you know, call 911, some of the authorities, and let us uh, take care of apprehending these people and recovering that vehicle. We asked those at the scene of the third carjacking, what would you do if someone came up and demanded your keys? Um, I'd give it to them. <laughs> no hesitation? No hesitation. Uh, you know, because of your, you know, life and stuff like that, if somebody come up and demand my key, you want a car? You know, that my life is important than the car. Others, though, would consider hitting the gas pedal. Because if you were to stay there, uh, you would be opening yourself up to something further. Four people have been arrested. Charges are pending. Anderson adds the victims in these unrelated cases are all expected to make a full recovery. Ian Campbell, City News, Calgary.